What's up guys? Welcome to Hyena Crafter. As you can see, we are once again on our epic theme park map, which I am very, very happy about, of course. It's always a nice day when we get to build ourselves a theme park, but today I'm actually really excited about this episode because we are building the front entrance of the theme park, and let me just quickly try to get out of that dock. There we go. Um, I always hate that dog, actually, because I can never, like, figure out how to get out of it, you know what I mean? Anyway, so, we might have to make a couple changes in the future, but not right now, because we are doing something very exciting. So, let me just quickly grab a minecart, and on the way, I'll tell you guys kind of what I'm thinking for the front entrance area of my theme park. So, I'm thinking we are going to make the entrance area a gigantic banana, and... Yeah, so it'll be kind of interesting to see how this goes, but I'm I think what I want to do is I want to I want to do something kind of creative, if you know what I mean. Um I don't know, maybe this will be too creative, I guess, but anyway, this is kind of our boardwalk platform area after we get the main entrance built, which is going to be right over here. I'm going to go back maybe a little later and add some shops and some other fun things to each side but basically what we're going to focus on in this episode is building a fancy dancy yellow banana so let's get to it for this project we're going to need some yellow wool and we are going to need some black wool some green wool and some lime wool so let's go ahead and start building i believe we go out four blocks just like that and then we build up and we're just going to make kind of a two doorway. The um, I probably would have only made it a single doorway. The only problem is this whole giant sign because I lined it up with the boardwalk. Um, this sign right there is actually an even number of blocks. And so I had to make the boardwalk an even number of blocks. Therefore, the middle is an even number of blocks. And that's why we have two doors. So there you go. Anyway, um, continuing right along, we want to add a couple blocks there. And then we are going to go ahead and just go like that. And then once we do that, um, we kind of we kind of have our banana, like the bottom of our banana kind of forming right there like that. Um, and then I believe we just go out two, we go out three, and then we go out four, just like that. Like that. And then we kind of have the side of the banana forming. And then once we have that, then we can just come up here, and I believe we can just come up here and go like that, and we are basically just about done actually building the banana, which is actually quite convenient. So, let me just finish this part up, and hmm, let me see, this might get kind of tricky, so I believe... Yeah, that looks that looks kind of like a banana, don't you think, guys? I think that does not look very bad. It does need to be a little bit bigger, but I think we can work with what we have. So, let's... Hmm, you know what? Let's actually come up right here like that a little bit more. And then, hmm, I'm thinking... Let's actually come out. We just want to make it a little bit wider so we don't have kind of a ski womp -see looking banana. And we're going to go like that. There we go. What do you guys think of that? That looks awesome. Okay, perfect. That is a very epic banana. I was going to say, I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> I said and for some reason. That is a very epic banana. Anyway, you guys. So now what we're going to do is we are going to just come on the outside of this banana. And we're just going to place some black wool right around here, okay? Now, um, we just want this black wool just to kind of outline our banana for us. So that, I don't know, customers don't get confused between what's the banana and what's the background, I guess. I don't even know. Um, the black just looks nice. It kind of gives it a border. And yeah, that's that's why I'm doing this part. So we're going to go ahead, come under here. And we are also going to go right there. And then, once we have that done, um, we are actually going to go ahead and build the background. So let me get to that. So I believe the background is going to be light green wool. And then I'm actually going to do like one layer of this light green wool. And then I'm also going to do a layer of 
dark green wool, which should look really cool. I'm giving it like that cool jungly effect. But what I'm thinking is kind of along this whole boardwalk area, I'm gonna make like a whole bunch of shops. And when I make those shops, I'm gonna like theme them after fruits. And so like, as you're pulling into this theme park, you'll see like this whole line of fruits as you're pulling in. So you'll have the big giant oasis sign. And then you'll see the banana and be like, oh, that's clearly the, that's, that's clearly the front entrance of the park. And you'll see like an apple and an orange and a pineapple and stuff. So it'll kind of be like that tropical feeling. I think that would be quite cool. So let me come up here and just finish up some green stuff right here. Um, and then after we're done with this, we should be good to go for the dark green background. And it'll be kind of interesting to see how this goes because depending on the types of fruits we have, this background might not go so well with it. So we will kind of probably have to experiment with the types of fruits we want but hopefully everything will turn out just awesome in the end. Um, but yeah, right now it appears we are pretty much done with our outline. And so if you look at it from the front, that's basically what it looks like, which I think looks pretty cool. And then we are actually gonna take our dark green wool. And we're just gonna kind of outline the green just like that. And we're gonna do one more, uh, one more block out than the green because that just looks a little better. It adds a little bit of that um, depth effect to it. So anyway, let's let's quickly finish this and then once we are done with that We are going to actually build the inside of the banana. So that should be really exciting I have a couple fun ideas It was actually kind of hard coming up with what we were gonna put on the inside of the banana because I I practiced building the banana and I, I tried building the inside and it was it was kind of you know what what do you put on the inside of a banana you know like you can't you can't really do anything about that um, but I do have a couple fun ideas we could do um, but yeah um, and I'm I'm really glad I actually came up with these ideas because if I didn't I probably would have had to trash the banana idea which I, I really didn't want to do but yeah I think the banana is actually quite awesome so I think we are actually going to quickly add one more layer of dark green wool just right on the outside of this um, just like that and then once we finish that up we're going to then build the inside of our banana what do you think of that that's okay there we go I think and then here it's always kind of hard adding a second layer to this outside border because it's like okay which one did I already fill up and which one didn't I fill up so yeah, it looks good so far. Let's just finish this little portion down here. And then we should be good to go. And then I'll come back maybe later or between episodes and kind of make it a little nicer and add the entire background of the area. But um, yeah, that's, that's basically our front entrance right here. And then we are of course going to add some front entrance gates if I can find them. And we're just gonna add two of these and then yeah, we basically have our banana built now We just got to do the inside so we're going to take out some yellow wool and we are going to place it down like this so one two three four five six seven eight I believe we do eight um, Because we we're actually gonna build an outline of a banana on the outside as well so that's why we want we're doing an odd number of blocks so that um, we can easily fit stuff in there and make it look nice. So I'm just going to come around here and just outline this entire banana. Um, and you know what? I'm actually going to go to bed really quick. So let me find myself a bed. And let's go to sleep really quick so that we do not have to worry about those pesky zombies bugging us. Um, but yeah, this is this is basically a ma the majority of the build done so far. So there you go. Um, let me quickly just finish this. You know, what? I'm actually going to drink some caffeine because this is kind of a long, monotonous process. I'm gonna drink some of my caffeine and get rid of my bed, and then we can actually get things done. So there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and go like that, and do the exact same thing. And we're just basically just taking like the outline of the banana and just like extending it clear far out 
Um, probably way too far, but that's okay because people don't know what it, the inside of a banana looks like. And so if they don't know what it looks like, then they don't really care how elongated it might be. So um, on that happy note, let's just finish this up. We are almost done. Let me come up here and go like that. And then we are going to do the same thing. And we're, we're almost done. Let me just finish this. But yeah, and then after we after we get the front entrance done, basically what I'm thinking is we can actually start on the rides. And so we can start on the rides or we can start on the um, mini games. Um, and at the same time that we're doing that, we can also add some more shops along the boardwalk. But I, I don't know about you guys, but I actually really want to get to the all the mini games and actually all the attractions of this theme park. I think that's... Well, it's, of course, the funnest part of the theme park is all the attractions. Um, but yeah, and it appears we are done. So let me let me actually replace that right there. And then we are good to go, you guys. So I'm actually going to go like that. And we're going to go ahead and build ourselves a doorway, just like we did on that side. And I'm not going to build the entire outside of this banana in this video. Well, actually, yes, I am. Um, well, I'm just going to build so that we can kind of enclose the inside. That's what I'll build. But I'll finish up building the this side of the banana um, in between the videos. But this is basically kind of what the outside of our banana is going to look like. So let me quickly finish this up. And then once we do that, we are ready to start the inside. So we're going to add some additional fence gates right here. And we're just going to do the exact same thing we did on that side. We're just going to add some fence gates. And we made a mistake right there. We need to get out. Here we go. There we go. Fixed our little mistake. And then we can start with all the fun. So we need to light some torches. Of course, get in here. And I think what I did is I just went right here, right here. And then I did some up here as well. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and go like that just to light this whole place up. There we go, I think that looks good. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to add some companies. So we're gonna go ahead and add some villagers, but we're gonna wait to do that, and we're actually gonna add our little banana um, creatures. We're going to spawn a bunch of slimes, and I'm gonna, if, they, if it spawns like a really big slime, I'm just gonna kind of kill it until it becomes one of those little itty bitty baby slimes, which I think will be really fun. You walk into the banana, and you know the baby slimes, they don't hurt you, so. It's just kind of fun walking into like a big giant banana. So this whole place is going to be filled with like these little baby slimes just like that. And oh dear, our, our slimes went through the wall. Um, right, well then, I guess he's out of the picture. There we go. And so we're just going to kind of cover the place with slimes just like that. And this is going to be so fun. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm reckon I'm, uh oh, we got a slime loose, slime loose, we got a slime loose. Oh dear, that's okay because, well, that's actually not okay. We need to kill you. Sorry, slime. It's it's for the best. Here, I'll get actually get out. If you're if you're ever annoyed about slimes, like on a super flat world or something, I always just recommend using a potion of harming because it really leave a bunch of crap all over the place. But that's okay. Um, let's get back to it. I want to finish this episode before we hit 20 minutes, which I think we should be good on. Uh, yeah, we should definitely be good on that. So, let me go ahead and go like that. There we go. And see, right now we're spawning a whole bunch of slimes. Just little, tiny, little baby slimes. And it's just going to look awesome because it's just a little, a bunch of little slimes. Like, you walk into a banana and there's just a bunch of slimes in here. So, let me just do a few more. Whoa, hello, sir. Hello. Hello, how are you? There we go. Let me go ahead and kill you and kill you. There we go. Do you think that's enough slimes? I'm thinking a few more. <laughs> I, I just want it to be like, so you walk in and it's like, whoa, there is a lot of slimes in here. You know what I mean? Anyway, let me quickly just kill the rest of you guys. It's kind of hard too, because you got to be really careful about not breaking blocks when you're hitting the slimes with your diamond sword. But anyway, let's get to building. Where's the fences? There they are. We're going to now build some villagers. I guess you can't really build a villager, can you? 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stick down some fences right there just like that. And excuse me, Mr. Slime and other Mr. Slime. Um, I, I kind of need to get right here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Coming through. Coming through. There you go. All right. Let me put a fence right there. And then so I just love the look of all these slimes. I just think it looks so fun. I'm actually going to add a couple more slimes down here just so we kind of have a good amount of slimes. And I can never find the slime spawner. Okay, there we go. So let me get my diamond sword out. And we're just going to add another slime right there. Let me kill him and be very cautious about where I kill him at. Here we go. I'm just going to add a couple more guys. There we go. Um, did you guys just hear that? There's like something in the water. I think that slime just fell through the floor. All right, so we need to kind of wrap up this episode. So let me get my villager egg, spawn egg, and we're just going to spawn two villagers, and they're going to be like the welcome wagon. So we're going to spawn you, and we're going to spawn you, and they are going to welcome us to our theme park. So in order to express their happiness, you're going to actually lay down a sign. One, two, three, one, two, three. What? It's an even number. Oh, dearie. That's okay. We can we can live with an even number, I suppose. Um, you know, actually, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do a sign right here that just says "Welcome," because I think I think that'll look good. There we go. Welcome. Just like that. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna do an exclamation point at the end to um, represent their excitement. And if I can find it, do you guys see it anywhere? There it is. I guess it's kind of useless asking you guys if you see it anywhere because even if you do, I, I can't really hear you. So even if you yell at your computer at the very top of your lungs, it's not really gonna help anything. But yeah, that basically wraps up this episode. Let's go ahead and tour our banana. And excuse me, slimes, I, I can already kind of see a problem developing. So you might have to edit this design a little bit. That's okay, and oh dear, we've we've let a slime loose. Where are you? That's okay. He he can he can just roam around. But anyway, there is our fancy dancy banana, and and we we can see it. And you know, I'm actually going to add some stairs right over here, just like that. I think that'll be a little better. Anyway, we see our fancy banana. We're like, oh, hey, look, it's a fancy banana. I want to walk through it. And so I come up here. I'm like, oh, hey, look at all these slimes. All so funny. And so I think I just let another slime loose. All right, that's okay. That's okay. We can always respawn them. And it's like, oh, hey, look, there's a bunch of welcoming people. Hello. And it says, welcome. And then we walk out into our park. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, and hopefully, you guys might have even learned something. Um, but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching, and hopefully um, you will take how to learn how to build a banana into real life. If not, that's okay. I won't feel too bad about it, hopefully. But yeah, there you go. You learned how to build a banana.